Yeah, so rhythm rhythm starts to fail as you start to fail. And I, I'll put my hand up and say my rhythm used to die as I got tired. And it's really just locking that in. Um, and a lot of times, if we were doing some really hard sessions and it was the end of the week and we were still trying to hit our numbers, I'd start failing and I wouldn't be able to hit my numbers. And I'd be like, shit, okay, I know I'm tired, but I want to try and do it or I'm going to limit the damage. Um, and so what that rhythm and stuff was about, the same thing, efficiency. And, you know, I, I do it on the machine all the time. If you don't even, if you don't have your, um, if you don't have your, your handle in and you just come forward, like you can't sit in this position very easily, okay? Like if anyone tries to sit at your catch position without the handle, your body's wanting to move away because it doesn't want to sit in this position. It just doesn't like it. It wants to sit about here quite comfortably. So it's about using that on the machine. I don't know if I'm out on that, I'm still in picture. Um, is as you come forward, using that, that awkward, the body doesn't want to be in this position to help you. So that rhythm is I'm floating in and I'm going to push out. Okay. And so trying to find ways to, when I talk about less is more, trying to find free speed, it's about actually trying to maintain while you're dying, because yes, you are, you are starting to fail because you're at that fatigue point. Um, it's about finding ways where you can get speed without actually doing anything, you know, and that's that compressive energy. You know, we start, there's so much in the physics that work in rowing is as your legs come together, you know, and you come right down into that sitting position that they want to push away. Doesn't like being in this position like what I was. Doesn't like being there, wants to push away. So as you do it, you just go, I'm coming in, okay, and it's going to start trying to push you out at the same time. Just allow that to happen. Um, and that's really the, the easiest part around it. And while that's happening, is then you get a nice rhythm around the front. You know, so you start feeling, oh, I'm, oh my body wants to push away, so I'll just let it happen. Um, and, and those are the things that you, you've got to start to figure out yourself because everybody's fatigue point starts at different times. If you're really fit, it might not happen until you've done 50 minutes on it. You know, if you're not so fit, it might only be 30 minutes. Uh, and it's really, and same, depending on the time or the intensity that you're doing it on, uh, that you get to that point.